This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hey there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you are here to get your daily dose. Thanks for having joined us just a couple of minutes ago at the CNN newsroom. I was talking with Sir Brooke Baldwin about Stephen Goff, the man that came forward only a couple of days ago admitting that he had committed a murder over 23 years ago. So Brooke's first question was, what made him come forward now? My answer was, in a nutshell, well, the, the public always looks for psychopaths that mean this killing was so heinous and he didn't say anything for such a long time. But the hallmarks of a psychopath are generally no conscience and also no empathy. What does that mean? You're not feeling for others and you're also not feeling guilty. You're not feeling remorse. And this is why people continue to do things that the normal person would not. Now, in his case, Mr. Goff's uh, case, he came forward after 23 years and he claimed he was haunted by nightmares. Now, we know that people who actually commit crimes also can suffer from PTSD or post-traumatic stress, similar symptoms like nightmares, intrusive thoughts. And obviously that happened to him. He stated for many years he had dreams about about uh, the victim's mother appearing to him in his sleep, saying to him, how could you do that to us? Rightfully so, now he came forward. He also does not ask for any expensive defense. Um, right enough, he is guilty and he said he wanted to plead and he wants nothing else but a public defender. Now, very nice that a cold case finally could be closed after 23 years. And um, now, moving away, however, from uh, Mr. Goff, looking into this other case, we have a family that did not have find closure for over 23 years. How would it feel to you if your kid would be murdered and you never have an answer? The case turns cold. So now, after 23 years, this is kind of a reopening of the wound that never really was allowed to heal. What might this family be going through. Number one, maybe relief. Finally, they have at least the person coming forward. But there will also be increased or newly felt anger. Why did that have to happen to our son? Why did this man have the right to do that? And obviously this man lived a life for 23 years while, while our son was gone and dead. Now there's also another question. Will this family be able to forgive? My hope for them is yes. Hopefully they are able to forgive over time because forgiveness does not change the past, but it certainly changes how we can look into our future. And I'm hoping for this family of Mr. Hart that they can heal and finally actually bring their son to rest. Thanks for being with me today. This were your daily news and uh, come back to see me soon. I'm Dr. Daniela. Bye. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.